Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kira 204 here and welcome to another video. Before we jump into this video, I do want to go ahead and direct your attention to the video description in which there is a link to the donation site for the USS Sullivans. The USS Sullivans is basically based off the ship you can see in front of us. She was a Fletcher class destroyer from World War II and unfortunately is in severe trouble. Uh, the ship has, as of right now recording this video, April 14th, 2022, has taken on a severe list and lots of water due to severe hull damage. It is unclear the extent of the damage and really how much it's going to cost to fix and um, whether or not the ship can fully be saved. Uh, it's a terrible sight to see. Um, it's a historic ship. We don't have many Fletcher classes really left and I think only there's really only two that are actually museum ships. Uh, that and USS Kid. I would really like to try to help in any way I can by at least bringing some awareness to the issue for those of you that weren't aware or uh, just bring in some small monetary value um, in terms of donations. The link to their site will allow you to make a donation whatever size big or small that you can afford to help the restoration of the ship. I have went ahead and personally made a donation myself to help uh, in any way I can to preserve this history. These warships are a very important part of history. Um, There's something that are massive, hold tons of history, and hold so much meaning. To lose one of these ships would be drastic for the future. Uh, this is not just about preserving the ship, it's about preserving history and something for generations to come to visit and be able to relive uh, World War II and the history and the meaning that that war has. So, again, um, I would like to just take some time to bring some attention to this issue. Obviously, I don't expect anybody to donate if you cannot afford it, uh, but it's just something there that if there's a very few of you that can and want to help, then there's the link to do it. But yeah, this here is the USS Sullivan's Fletcher Class Destroyer in her World War II configuration, and this video is dedicated to that ship, and hopefully the long future as a museum ship she still has left. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the USS The Sullivans DD-537 Fletcher Class Destroyer. The USS Sullivans DD-537 is a retired United States Navy Fletcher Class Destroyer. The ship was named in honor of the five Sullivan brothers, George, Francis, Joseph, Madison, and Albert, aged 20 to 27, who lost their lives when their ship, the USS Juno, was sunk by a Japanese submarine during the Naval Battle of Guadalcanal on November 13, 1942. This was the greatest military loss by any one American family during World War II. She was also the first ship commissioned in the Navy that honored more than one person. After service in both World War II and the Korean War, the Sullivans was assigned to the 6th Fleet and was a trained ship until she was decommissioned on January 7, 1965. In 1977, she and cruiser USS Little Rock CG4 were processed for donation to the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park in Buffalo, New York. The ship now serves as a memorial museum ship and is open for public tours. The ship itself, um, again as mentioned, has uh, partially sank from a severe hull breach and is the reason why this ship is being built uh, when it is. It's been a long time since we visited the, the Fletcher class destroyer and I thought it was a good time to bring some attention to a current uh, issue and also to get a nice redesign for the Fletcher class. Uh, obviously the most iconic class of American destroyers from World War II and arguably probably one of the most iconic World War II uh, destroyer classes. Uh, really beautiful ship and absolutely love the Fletcher class. Uh, it's probably it's my favorite destroyer from World War II. Um, this model came out really good. Really happy with the way it came out. Lots of good detail and a lot of good modernization. If you remember the last Fletcher, you are probably very excited <laughs> to see this revamped version because it is a uh, huge, huge upgrade <laughs> compared to the previous one. So very happy to finally get that out for you guys and hopefully you all do enjoy this video and um, all that. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look here at the, the Sullivans and kind of see what we got going on here. Uh, we have the front here. We have with the two 5-inch mounted guns as well as the... Um, both for guns that are located on both sides here in their mounts. We then have the conning tower and the bridge, along with its radar, all that stuff, and again, radar, gun control systems, firing, or er, 
yeah, gun control systems, all that kind of stuff, all in this area right here. Further back, we have the lifeboats, uh, the funnels, and the two torpedo launchers, as well as the mid-ship uh, uh, Beaufort guns. Um, some more anti-aircraft gun positions here. Again, 5-inch battery. We have the um, three war guns here on the back. And on top here, we have the another Beaufort's position. On the sides, the depth charges, or launchers, that would be on the side. Um, and on the back here, again, an anti-aircraft position. And more depth charge launchers here on the back. Uh, we have the props, the uh, rudders, and that's pretty much a ship. A uh, pretty small ship. Again, it's just a simple destroyer from World War II, which are very small ships for the time. Uh, but really nice, came out really great, and is going to be an awesome addition to our World War II uh, American fleet, which has uh, definitely not seen some love lately, and definitely deserves a lot more love. So happy to finally get a new Fletcher out for you guys, and hope you all do enjoy. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and start with layer 1. Now, to go ahead and get started with this layer, we're going to go ahead and begin with by placing down a red concrete block, like so. Now, after this red concrete block is going to be positioned in the water a certain height. I imagine a lot of you guys are going to want to build this in the water. So, to make sure you build this correctly, you can see here this blue concrete represents the water level. And you can see here where we placed our red concrete block. Very important to make sure that that's placed correctly because your ship will sit really weird in the water if it is not done correctly. So, let's go ahead and take the time, make sure that's good to go. And with that all cleared, we can go ahead and continue on. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick wall coming off the side here toward the front and then a red stained glass pane. We're going to go ahead and go back from the red concrete block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Red concrete blocks back. Then 1, 2, brick top slabs, and then an acacia wood trap door on the end here. We're going to go ahead and place down one more acacia wood trap door to both sides. Close them like so. After we have that done, we're going to place down a red stained glass pane on the side of the second from last block here. So we have one and then two, three, going forward, and then one, two, three. We're going to go ahead and take our end rods. We're going to place down two end rods going back on both sides here, and then a skeleton skull on the ends here. If you do not have the ability to place down end rods and skeleton skulls in the water, you can use slabs instead of the skeleton skulls. Uh, some birchwood slabs will work, and also you can use um, acacia wood fence gates instead. Can do now we're going to go and then take our brick walls. We're going to go ahead and go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to go and then take our acacia wood signs here. We want to go ahead and count from the front. 1, 2, 3. And then our fourth wall, we're going to place, sorry, our fifth wall, we're going to place down a um, acacia wood sign on the side. Then 2, 3, 4, and five walls in total, and same thing will be done over here on this side. So just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our red stained glass panes, go forward one, two, three, and over here, same thing, one, two, and three. After that's all done, that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer number one for the build. Take a look at it from above, this which should look like from the top down view, and with that we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we're moving into layer 2. For layer 2 to begin with, we're going to place down an andesite wall on top of this glass pane here. An item frame on both sides of that wall, and then we're going to place down a crossbow in the item frame and rotate it so it faces downwards. On both sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block back, birch wood button on both sides of that stone block, and then we're going to go ahead and go back an additional 1, 2, 3, and 4 stone blocks back. Going to the sides of the uh, fourth block here, we're going to place down a glass pane and then 1 and 2 forward. Same thing over here, one, two, three. Um, once we have that done there, we're gonna go ahead and then take our stone blocks. We're gonna continue back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the side of those 14 stone blocks that we just placed, we're gonna place down 14 andesite walls. All on the side, same thing over here. So just like that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then take our gray wool. We're going to place down one, two, three, and then one, two, three, like gray stainless panes on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, one, two, three stone blocks back, and we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, like gray stainless panes, and one, two, three, like that on the sides. After we have that all done, uh, we want to go ahead and also, or that's actually it for the layer. Um, 
yeah, seeing there's something else, but no, we're actually good. Actually, one quick thing I am going to add on here is going to be the polished Barks button on the back here, which would be the writing of the ship name. In this case, the USS Solvents, uh, USS The Solvents um, on the back there. So, anyways, that is going to complete everything we have there for layer two. Again, here's an overview of what it looks like from up above. And with that, we'll be moving on to our next layer, layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with, you want to place down two stone slabs like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector, turn that to night mode. After we have that all complete there, we're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, and three daylight detectors on these three glass panes. And these will all be turned to night mode as well. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick wall right here and then an end rod coming off of it. As an alternative to the stone brick walls, um, you can also use stone brick stairs instead. I do prefer the look of the walls, and uh, we will be using a tool that's available for Java to actually modify the properties of the wall. So for right now, we're going to go and leave the wall like so. We're going to come back to these a little bit later uh, for Java players, but again, you can use a stone brick stair instead if you do not want to use commands. After this, though, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, a stone block, and then we're going to place down one after that. Pull by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stone blocks back. Along the sides here, we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down an iron trap door on both sides. We're going to go then grab ourselves a birchwood fence gate. We're going to place down a fence gate here, open it toward the inside. And on the side of that fence gate, we're going to place down an item frame. In that item frame, we want to place down a white bed, rotate it on its side. Same thing over here, like that for some life rafts. We're going to go then place down a light gray stained glass pane to both sides like so followed by a birchwood sign coming off the glass pane on both sides we then want to place down a row of two of course top slabs again on the sides here and then two birchwood signs on the side of those slabs we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door like this on both sides and then we want to go ahead and then place down a gray carpet on both sides as well Again, birchwood sign on the side here of these iron trap doors. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair. This will be on those um, andesite walls right there. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down our skeleton skulls here. Two skeleton skulls at slant angles from each other. So just like that. And after that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a... Uh, we're actually going to swap out this stone block right here for a gray wool block. And above it, we're going to place down a stone top slab, as well as a gray carpet to both sides. We then want to place down another stone block here. This will be followed with a birchwood fence gate to both sides. And like we did for, kind of in the front section there, we're going to go and place down an item frame on both sides with a white bed in those item frames rotated sideways. After that, we're going to go then place down one, two, three more stone blocks back. Along the sides here, we're going to go and place down one, two, three flower pots. And same thing over here, one, two, and three. We then want to place down a stone brick wall right here. And this is going to have an end rod coming off of it. Again, you can use a stone brick stair instead. And then we want to place down a row of one and two gray carpets going back on both sides there. Followed by skeleton skulls at slight angles like this in the corners. And then we're going to go and then place down a redstone comparator there in the center. Another skeleton skull. And then another gray carpet here in the center with a flower pot to both sides in the, in the corners. And that right there is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, three. With that though, that's going to basically wrap up what we have there for that. Taking a look at it from above, this we should have for the top down view of layer three complete. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we move into layer four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with, you're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this stone block here. And then an end rod coming off it going forward. Again, you can use a stone brick stair instead. We're going to go ahead and place down an andesite um, wall here. Coming off this, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever on these iron trap doors. And we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block as well as an andesite wall. On top of these fence gates here, we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame. And we're going to go ahead and place down a white bed in that item frame. We're going to go ahead and then grab skeleton schools and we're going to place them down on top of these glass panes like this to both sides. Uh, we then want to go ahead and change out this uh, stone block right here for a stone stair. 
And then on this stone block right behind it, we're going to place down a stone full block. We then want to place down a lever that's going to be on these two quartz blocks or quartz stop slabs. They're going to be flicked toward the middle here. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a light gray bed, a narrow stone block, a narrow light gray bed like so, and make sure the pillows are facing toward the front. And we're also going to place down a lever on these stone stairs, pointed out to the sides there for our both our guns and our mid uh, ship. We're going to go ahead and then place down another stone brick wall, which will be right here. And coming off that, we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone upside down stair here, a stone full block, another stone brick wall, or stone brick stair, and then an end rod coming off that going back. We're also going to go ahead and grab a trip bar hook. We're going to place this down on the sides of this stone full block here, as well as we're going to place on an item frame on top of these fence gates with a white bed in those item frames like so. And with that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number four for the build. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. So with that, that's going to conclude layer four for the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our final layers here, we have layers five through nine. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this stone full block right here, up here where the bridge is. We're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull that will be on top of this this uh, in a set wall. And then we want to go ahead and place down a uh, skeleton skull that's going to be kind of to the side here of the stair. So it's going to be on the same level here as the stair, but it's going to kind of just be up one. So we're just going to kind of build it up from the fence gate there um, and try to do it quick so your item frame doesn't uh, disappear and you're just going to go ahead and place down your um, skeleton skull on top of that and it's going to be like that on both sides so you want something that looks like that there we're going to go ahead and then place down a door oak wood trap door on top of it and open it so it faces upwards like so we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some birch wood fence posts we're going to place down two fence posts going up from the back of the stair and the trap door followed by two end rods and then we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of iron bars and go across like so. We're also going to go ahead and place down an end rod coming off both sides of this last end rod up on top there. And we'll then grab some barrier blocks. And using barrier blocks, we're going to place down one and two going down from the end rods on both sides. We're going to place a lever on the bottom and flick that lever toward the inside, just like so. And we're also going to go ahead and grab stone buttons and wrap them around these two sides here of the barrier blocks on both sides. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then go to our mass of our, or sorry, I should say our funnels here for the ship. Now our funnels here, a little bit different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with by going ahead and placing down a andesite wall here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off the, toward the front, a near skeleton skull to both sides of that one, like so. And on top of this uh, andesite wall, we're just going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Then a dark oaken fence gate on top of this skeleton skull here, open toward the back, and then an end rod coming off both sides of that fence gate like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the back here. We're going to place down another andesite wall here. A wither skeleton skull. Fence gate coming off the skull. Open toward it. End rod to both sides of it like that. And then also we're going to place down a skeleton skull here. And then one skeleton skull coming off both sides of that one like that there for that second funnel. Then uh, going to the back here we're going to place down a skeleton skull here as well as a lever on this stone block and then grabbing some iron bars. We're going to place down two iron bars that go up from these um, tripwire hooks. At this point in time, we'll go ahead and then grab some barrier blocks. We're going to place down one and two barrier blocks. And same thing over here. One and two. And we're going to place down two stone buns along the sides there. We're going to go ahead and then place down another stone bun on both sides of those end rods. A stone bun like that on both sides. We're going to go ahead and then drop down from that barrier block and go back one. We're going to place down a row of two and two stone buttons on top of those blocks. And same thing over here. Like that. And then we want to place down two barrier blocks here in the middle. So on top of this stone brick wall and on top of the end rod there. And we're going to place down stone buttons on both sides of those two barrier blocks for our rigging there. Once you have that all complete there, that's going to pretty much do it for your design. If you are on Java, we'll go ahead and now do type in the command slash give space at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick by pressing enter you'll get a debug stick now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and modify the properties of our walls so to begin with uh we want to go ahead and look at our walls here 
So our walls uh, are going to be facing, or the ship's going to be facing in a certain direction. By pressing F3 here, we can see in the second pair or the second chunk of text there, the fourth line it says we're facing south. So we're going to be going ahead and changing the properties of our walls facing south to begin with. So this wall is facing toward the front of our ship and our ship is facing south. So we're going to left click the wall until we get selected south. And you can see I kind of passed it there. So it says none. We want to go ahead and right click it until it says south to low. And we're going to go and do the same thing for this one. And we're going to go ahead and also change the andesite wall right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and need to click it again. So we want to get south again and we want to set it to none. So south to none so that so there's no connection between this wall and this wall right here. We'll then go to the back. We're going to do the same thing for this wall, south to low. And this wall is a little bit different because these guns are facing toward the back. We want to go ahead and do the back of these walls or the side of the walls here, which will be the back of the gun. We're going to go ahead and do south to tall for both those. So we're just going to bring them up a notch. We're going to go ahead and then do the rear of our guns here. So we're going to go ahead and left click until we get selected north. We're going to go and right click and we want to set these north to tall. So just like this, same thing here. And you may need to double click to get it to set to tall. And this set, these back guns are all going to be set north to low. And that right there is going to basically complete those walls. And it kind of helps create the guns. I think overall just creates a really nice design for them. It works really good for those five inch gun turrets. So that's that. And then we also can modify these birchwood fence gates. So again, these are connecting to this block to the south, so forward. We'll go ahead and do selected south and we'll right click these again so that we get rid of the connection there so there's no connection and it just again over improves the overall look there for the mass and with that all complete that's it for our little java debug stick um you know things and with that that's going to complete my tutorial now for the uss the Sullivan's DD-537 Fletcher Class Destroyer. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put good use. If you do not use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit. This can be anything from a sound of the build to my channel or this video. If this does appear on social media sites, as long as you guys uh, give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun, and all that fun stuff. Again, uh, this video is dedicated to the USS The Sullivan's um, Ship Museum based out of Buffalo, New York. And again, feel free to check out that uh, donation link down in the video description to help support the um, basically refurbishment and uh, re-raising of the partially sunk USS Sullivan's, um, which uh, tragically has suffered some very uh, severe hole, bre hole breaches. Um, anyways though, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and for those of you that donated, I uh, really appreciate it, and I'm sure that the future generations will appreciate it as well as this ship will continue to live on as a museum and educating people of the future. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.